No offence, Robert, but I reckon you'd be as much use looking after me as Andy. It's OK, I just need an excuse to get away. You won't tell him where I went. Look, we're both skiving. The less said, the better. See you. See you later. Wonderful surprise. Shouldn't you be on that school bus? I need to talk to you. Does your dad know you're here? He thinks I'm on the bus. Is something wrong? Look, maybe this is a bad idea. I shouldn't have come. Of course you should. Look, whatever your father's been saying to you, I'm always here for you. I wish we could spend more time together, but... Maybe, after the hearing... I don't want to talk about that. So, what do you want to talk about? There's obviously something wrong. Well, it's not such a big deal. If it's important to you, it's important to me. I just wanted to change one of my GCSE options. Well, that's fine. It's not too late, is it? I don't know. Dad's too busy to talk about it. I suppose either either I did DT. It'd be more use around the farm. But you don't want to work around the farm. And I don't want him to think I've been going behind his back. I don't suppose art's much help towards a career. Well, at least we should discuss it with your teachers. I'll phone and make an appointment. Thanks. And then I'll take you back to school. I don't want you getting in trouble for playing truant. I'll need to talk to Mr Hartshorn about it, but I don't imagine there'll be any problem. The art course isn't oversubscribed. Thanks. For all your help. That's what I'm here for. I think you ought to get back to your class now, Robert. You've missed enough school already. Thanks. See you soon. It's always difficult for the children when a marriage breaks up. Yeah. But it's not very good for them living with parents who row all the time either. I'm not being judgmental. I'm just suggesting that it might help me to deal with Robert and Andy better if I understand their home situation. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be defensive. I've had to cope with a lot of gossip in the village. If you could be of any help at all, I'd be grateful. They're at a difficult age anyway, starting out on the most important exams they face just when their hormones have kicked in. Yeah. I thought Richie, my partner, might be able to help with that. He's only 19, so he's not long been through it. But it seems like his business is more important. You feel very alone on all this, don't you? Yes. It doesn't help when people keep telling me it's all my own fault. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not here to take sides. Thanks. You might be on sick today, you know. Forced, you know. You can't do that forever. You're going to get in trouble again soon. Betty? Mm -hmm. How's Seth? I thought he'd be over it by now, but he's taking it really hard. I'll tell you, if I could get my hands on them as did this to him, they'd be sorry. Just wanted to say it's all fixed. I'll be doing that after half term. Oh, good. I'm glad you came to me and we managed to sort it out. Yeah, thanks. I'd rather you didn't say anything to that about it. We haven't done anything wrong, Robert. I'm entitled to take an interest. Yeah, I know, but it'd just be easy for me if you didn't make a big deal of it. OK. If that's the way you want it, let's forget it. Meanwhile, while you're here, let me make you some tea. I've missed cooking for you. Oh, I can't stay. I shouldn't even be here. It'll only take a minute. I've got to go home. Me and Andy make Victoria tea now, and Dad doesn't like a routine's upset. Sorry. 